Welcome dear student on my channel. Today we will see about the bryophyta. Bryophyta which are having the two main groups. One that is about the liverwort. Example is the rixia. And second one that is about the moss. Example is a funaria. They are mostly terrestrial plants found in the moist and shady places. Need the water for the fertilization. So this is what when the morning time its leaf like structures get open. This is the shade loving plants are there. And this in the evening time, it closes its lip like structures. Now here, they complete the life cycle. For completing the life cycle, they need the water. So this is what we observe in there. They are in the shade, completing the whole area. Sometimes they grow on the wall also. They need the water for completing the life cycle as well as their shade loving plants are there. So here it covers the whole area. Sometimes it comes cover the log also here the whole the forest is there which is get covered now here this the water is a dripping out so which help for the completing the life cycle for the fertilization this in the rainy season what we find the whole wall is there which is get covered by this moss we can feel that here something the mat like structure green mat is covered if we we'll touch we feel that something velvet like structure so they are the first what we can say the plants are there which are growing after the lichen and then they decompose the area and which makes the convert it into the soil which help for the growing the other plants. So here the whole mat like structure we find which is on the wall. So you can wash here cover the whole area wherever the place is there where the spore get germinate and it forms a number of this moss plants so if we we'll, here we can observe that something the whole area which is get covered if we we'll remove it we can find on the lower side all the soil is there which is a by the decomposed portion of the wall so here in the rainy season it covers the whole area this is about the bricks so in the previously what we found that is on the wall now it is on the brick so same way here the brick all get decomposed and convert into the soil which help the other plants to grow fastly so whole green mat like structure if we we'll touch we feel that here something the velvet like fillings are there we will try to remove this also now we will remove the same so we can watch here in this clearly so they are not well developed plants they are the first plants we can say after the algae bryophytes are there which are called as amphibians so which provide the place for the habitat for the other living organisms so, so these are the insects are there which are living in between so this is what i have removed and taken on the slide on the on the watch glass so one is there that is about the rixia which is of the liverwort and second one is that is about the moss so this is the musa is there so regarding this both we'll discuss now we can watch that on the lower side the soil is there which is a uh, formed by the decomposition of that particular area either the brick is there or the wall is there so, bryophytes which are having the economic importance as it used as a food for the herbivorous animals as well as for the birds also bryophyte like the moss is there which is used for the packing material for the transport of the living materials as moss having the water holding capacity that's why it can be used for the packaging as well as moss or the rixia is there which prevent the soil erosion so this all the mat like structure something green green mat like portion is there so this all are the leaves are there along with that we find uh, some capsules are also there 
so see on the lower side we can find the rhizoids which are multicellular rhizoids are there which is in case of the moss while in case of the rixia they are unicellular one here they are the multicellular rhizoids are present below these rhizoids are there which are help to get the support as well as it absorbs the water and the minerals from the soil or the growth now here i am trying to separate it so we can find that this is a plant like means the stem like structure is there on which the spirally arranged the leaf like structures are there just now i said they are not true leaves it is not having the true stem not having the true roots it is a less developed one as compared to the pteridophytes so along with this we can find the number of the capsule so plant body is there which is divided into the gametophyte and the sporophyte gametophyte which is uh, having the leaf like structures and the sporophyte which is uh, producing the spores which are having the capsule so here we can watch that number of the capsules are there which are in the top which shows the presence of the spores inside now we'll take the more clear about the how the plants of that particular bryophytes about the mosai now we'll see about its a uh, capsule inside the capsule just now i said the spores so that is uh, about the sporophyte spore producing organ called as a sporophyte inside the spores many spores are inside the sporangia many spores are present that all spores are there which are the diploid so here this is a capsule is there it is in the yes now it is more developed we can observe that upper cap is present inside that number of the spores are there which are the diploid spores are there once it get mature it break open and then it releases the spores we can clearly get the idea about this the small pores are there which are releasing we can find here by the single flow of the wind these spores are get spread and then get germinate so the next stage of this after the germination of the spore the protonema stage is there so these spores are there which are the microscopic we can say the microspores this is under the low power now it get germinate and then it forms a protonema so this protonema is there which is a filamentous body is there which is a branched body which forms the branches and then it develop to form the gametophyte and that gametophyte which later it gives a stem like leaf like structure root like structure so these are the leaf like structures are there which is a uh, above the ground and these are about the rhizoids root like structures which are multicellular rhizoids are there these are the leaf like structures now here the whole the gametophyte and then the sporophyte so spore producing upper the capsule is a present once it germinate it forms this like whole bunch number of the spores are there which germinate and then it forms this about the gametophyte hold the green mat like structure on the lower side we can find this is about the rhizoid which is a multicellular rhizoid now we'll try to separate and then we'll learn how the stem like structure is there how the leaf like structure is there so this is on the slide which is a uh, under my camera so this one one of the plant is separated so like that here we'll try to separate more and then we'll learn in detail about the uh, each one so slowly i'll remove so that we can find the 
complete structure of the same. Here we can watch that whole how the gametophyte and sporophyte together whole plant body is there. So this lower portion is there which is of the gametophyte and upper portion which is of the sporophyte. Lower side the rhizoids is about the gametophyte having the leaf like structure and then above that here another small plant is there about the musai. So this comes under kingdom plantae. So this whole stalk is there and at the top we find the capsule. This is about the rhizoids, multicellular rhizoids. So you can clearly observe just now I said the function of the rhizoid to observe the water as well as the minerals. Now, next to this, we will see about the another plant body. Yes, here the entire portion we can watch it again. So, this way the capsules are there which are present on the stalk, and once it gets mature by the single flow of the wind it releases the, all the spores which get spread in the all direction everywhere and then in the next season it germinate during the rainy season because it requires the water for completing its uh, life for the fertilization also. So this is what we have discussed regarding the moss. Plant body is there. Plant body is there. Here we can watch the life cycle of the moss this is about the rixia which is about the group of the liverwort here the thalloid plant body is there which is not differentiated in the root stem and the leaf so dichotomously branch we can say grow continuously it spread whole area and same like the moss, moss it also covers the area and form the green structure whole green mat like on the wall on the lower side the rhizoids are present that rhizoids are there which are unicellular rhizoids in case of the moss they are multicellular rhizoids well in case of the this rixia they are unicellular one <coughs> so whole bryophyte is there which is a initial plants are there they are a simple one as compared to the pteridophyte gymnosperms and the angiosperms so here we can find the soil which is a form by the decomposition and that helps the other plants to grow. So here small insect also we can find. So it is a hiding place for the small insects. They have the habitat there inside this moss as well as inside the this rixia which is also called as a liverwort. They are less developed one as compared to the moss. So we can say that after the algae, the first that is about the liverworts are there, rixia and the marchensia as well as the anthocere is also present. After that the next is about the moss which is more developed as compared to this rixia. Here we can wash here. Here don't have any leaf like root like structure. But in case of the moss, we find leaf-like structure is a present and the body is uh, erect. But here, in case of the rixia, it is not erect. It is uh, growing horizontally and covering the whole area. So next to this, we will see about the how the its uh, life cycle is there about the rixia. In the next small video, we will find how the spores are get released. Now here we can find this, the liverwort which is a thalloid body, flat plant body is there. Where it is a, about the, yes in the rainy season like that it covers whole area. And this way we can observe that how the males sperms are there which are get releases, male gametes are there which is spread on the female 
gamete where it get germinate and it fertilizes the egg and from that here we get the new growth so here the fertilization takes place and from that we get the new growth of this plant that is about the rixia okay so this way we have observed that about the bryophyte example the rixia and the moss okay if you like my channel subscribe and share with your friends thank you